And, you know, he's got this little kind of like black spot deals going on his shoulders. Hey, everybody, Stu Carter here from Atomai.com, and I'm back with another Ben 10 toy review. This time, it's Water Hazard, one of the new aliens from the series, Ben 10, Ultimate Alien. We're going to open it up, have a look, see how Water Hazard looks. So stand by for a new toy review. Here's a good look at the package. We've already talked about the changes uh, when I did the wrap review last time the changes in the packaging uh, and it's got the uh, disc alien uh, for water hazard that's going to go with the disc alien ultimatrix which will be coming in uh, probably in a few weeks uh, and, and you see the back the rest of the aliens in this series this first wave uh, of the all uh, of the alien collection figures and we're going to open up all of those in time okay well, let's open it up uh, let's see what he looks like out of the box okay here's a good look at the uh, water hazard figure uh, you can see that, uh, like the others, he's about four inches tall. Same as the others in this series, the uh, Alien Collection figures. This is uh, Disc Alien. Uh, something uh, a little different about Water Hazard from the other Wrath figure is uh, his legs and his arms, especially the legs, are uh, of a softer PVC plastic style. See, they're pretty bendable. You're not going to be able to snap these. I, I, I really don't know why they went that way, but... Uh, they seem like that's what they wanted to do. You can bend them at the knees and at the hips. They don't splay out. They just go back and forth. Bend them in the elbows and in the shoulder. Just rotate there, okay? You can't rotate his hands or his feet. You can't rotate his head. He's got that hood thing going, so you can't really turn his head very much. But he, uh, his stance is fairly wide, and um, he stands up pretty easy there. You can see no problems. Like the others, he's going to have numbers on his butt. In case there's a problem, don't know who who to talk to, who to talk about if there's a problem in this manufacturer. You can see uh, Wrath uh, still a little bit bigger than Water Hazard. Look at that, Wrath stands up pretty big. And uh, But of course, uh, Water Hazard has a more complicated hood design, so uh, he, you know, he's a little bit more detailed in that respect. And uh, we'll take some still photos so you can see more uh, of the poses and get a good detailed look at them uh, from the still pictures as well. And the disc alien, uh, it is Wrath, you can see, right? And uh, there's his hands that, that kind of fold out. So you push it back in, it folds in, and it pops up and his hands come out. So that's kind of cute. Yeah, I can't wait to, to see how these work uh, on the disc alien Ultimatrix when that comes out. That's pretty cool. Also, I wanted to show you these little uh, spiky appendages uh, that come out from his his arms up by his wrists. And he's got these gauntlet things going. And look at these spiky deals on the backs of his boots. And on the top of his boot, he's got this spiky deal going. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's got a pretty cool, he's got a pretty cool outfit going there, yeah. And, you know, he's got this little kind of like black spot deals going on his shoulders and on his thighs as well. Yeah, that's kind of a, he's got a color scheme going there. So, yeah, that's a pretty cool guy. Okay, so that's my look at the water hazard figure. Uh, and coming up next, it's gonna be Ultimate Swamp Fire. He's so creepy, I can't believe what they did to him. So you're gonna wanna subscribe, hit that button, and you won't miss a single review. Until then, have a good day.